Hello gamers! This time we will compare and analyze recently released FSR 3.1 to DLSS 3.7. All tests were made on 1440p and Gamers Club optimized settings from our guide, which link for, as always, you can find in the description. <laughs> Can't let the cold distract me. Okay, let's start because it seems Aloy is freezing in the middle of the desert. Stationary, both upscalers are doing great. It seems that AMD finally addressed FSR flickering, and it's very, very comparable to DLSS here. I would say FSR is slightly less sharp, but the difference is minor. Even in motion, vertical motion to be exact, FSR 3.1 is holding very well. Sometimes, especially on legs, there is a bit of ghosting, but we will check it later. Most importantly, FSR still loses sometimes a bit of image stability, but in simple scenarios, it's hard to notice. In terms of frame rate, I must say that both techniques are very close to each other. In combat animations, again our today stars look similar. It's interesting that alloy motion is generally properly handled by FSR, because in other motion scenarios it sometimes fails, which you will see in the next tests. I was surprised that particle effects like for example sand were handled properly. You can only see that with FSR ambient occlusion around Aloy's legs and her legs itself are leaving a small ghosting, but in full speed it's barely visible anyway. Fast horizontal movement can emphasize FSR problems with ghosting. There are not that many non-synthetic situations in Horizon with such a high pace of motion to make it annoying. I found few though. For example, during flight, the wings of our Sunwing are leaving artifacts on everything behind them for a split second. But it's still not the most extreme and disturbing examples of this problem in natural game environment I could find. During motion on surfaces which are also moving, the image on FSR literally becomes a zoop, and it does not look good. FSR still has a problem with the weather effects, making them much less visible. Thank you very much. What was the biggest surprise to me is how incredibly good FSR looks on ultra performance. Remember that for 1440p, ultra performance has crazy 480p internal resolution. I have no idea how it's possible for FSR to produce such a good looking and stable image. But judging by the performance difference between FSR and DLSS on the same mode, I can imagine that it's a bug and... FSR internal resolution is probably higher, however, even if the internal resolution is higher than it should, and you compare it to FSR quality, it still looks incredibly for such a performance game. It's very outstanding, and the situation with the ghosting does not get worse either, which is a big plus here for FSR. To sum up, FSR is definitely doing better in Horizon than its previous 2.2 version, with very comparable image quality to DLSS in both stationary and motion scenarios. It still suffers from ghosting and other more minor problems, but the progress is very noticeable. I'm shocked at how good FSR looks on lower internal resolutions. This level of image stability on ultra performance, if it's not a bug, and getting finally rid of this flickering that FSR has always had a problem with, is a huge achievement. Considering that AMD solution is available on all GPUs, 
makes it even more impressive. If you found this type of content useful, please consider subscribing to us and leaving a like. You can find on our channel upscaling comparisons, setting optimization guides and gaming music cinematic videos. Thank you for watching and see you soon!